Hi, I'm Chris James and you're watching A Healthy Alternative. Today we're going to be taking a look at the differences between alkaline water and distilled water. Hey guys, real quick, I just wanted to remind you, if you guys want to see all of my videos as soon as I release them, make sure to hit the notification bell. It's going to be in the left or the right hand side of your screen. I'm not really sure, but uh, I usually upload on Sundays somewhere around 12 o'clock noon, so you guys can be looking out for it. And I only upload once a week, so I'm not going to spam your notification inbox, and I appreciate the support. Thank you. Alright guys, so today we're going to be looking at the differences between alkaline water and distilled water. And this is a video that I really have been needing to do along with some more water videos. So we're probably going to be seeing some more in-depth water videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. But today we're going to be comparing the two, which is better, why do I choose, what I choose, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so when I very first started my health journey, and one of the reasons I made this channel is because I realized there was a lot of pitfalls. One of the pitfalls I felt fell into was the alkaline water pitfall, okay? So what they do is they promote this alkaline water. You could buy it at the store. You could get it, um, you could get filters, and it pretty much says, hey, you know, you need to alkalize your body because disease can't live in an alkaline, alkaline environment. So drinking the alkaline water helps to alkalize your body, which in turn helps you to heal disease. Okay, makes plenty of sense to me. Well, I went out and I bought a $700 plus dollar alkaline filter and it did change the taste of the water, I could tell you that much, and it did filter out a lot of the contaminants in the water and I was very happy with it. But I continued doing research and you know, I, I want, I'm always looking for the best alternative. So uh, I come to find out that the alkaline filter wasn't actually filtering out all of the chemicals, all of the toxins as I originally thought. And also, the way they alkalized the water was essentially by using uh, minerals, right? So typically, the way you alkalize water naturally is by using rocks. I mean, that's what it is. It's minerals. The minerals alkalize the water. And so as the, the filter um, has these, these minerals in it, and as the water runs through it, it alkalizes the water. Well, what we're doing is we're actually just putting, you know, very microscopic rocks in the water and uh, I've come to believe now that that is not something that's necessary. Um, I've, I've got a couple of videos on, you know, electrolytes and talking about minerals. But essentially, as far as minerals go, if your body doesn't produce it naturally, you don't need it. OK, our bodies produce everything, all of the nutrition, all of the vitamins, all the nutrients we need. It's all produced naturally. And these particular minerals aren't produced naturally by the body. You have to get them from your water or from your food. And so that allows me to understand that it's not something that's necessary. One of the things I want to point out is when water is running in nature, let's say it's coming down a mountain, right? It's always doing this squiggly motion. OK, and then also you guys may notice that sometimes you see little tornadoes in the water. All right. What the water is doing is it's energizing itself. It's aerating itself. OK, and that's that's what we want to be drinking. When you go to the store and you get a bottle of alkaline water, you get a bottle of spring water. The natural energy in that water is gone. OK, the, the, the actual process of bottling the water destroys the natural energy in the water and now the minerals that you would typically get from the spring and, and they're okay are now more harmful because it's the natural energy in the water that keeps the water from uh, that keeps the minerals from being harmful to your body that's the reason why I promote that you guys get distilled water and we're going to talk about distilled water in a second but essentially there is a we're, we're missing a piece of the puzzle. So, yes, your natural waters do have minerals in them, but because they're also energized, because the water is energized, those minerals have no negative effect on you, as well as any other contaminant you will find in the water. By energizing the water and structuring the water, the, the contaminants that would be in the water become nullified. So while they're still in there, they don't actually harm you. And I know that's kind of hard to grasp, but um, it, it gets on, it, it pretty much gets down to 
the, the, the negative and the positive charges. And uh, we'll go a little bit more in depth in a different video. But right now, I'm just trying to explain to you guys the differences between the two waters and why I chose distilled over alkaline. So now let's start talking about distilled water. So with everything I told you about the alkaline water, uh, one of the things you guys want to do is just make sure you avoid your store-bought alkaline waters, your store-bought spring waters. Um, they're not going to hurt you like uh, tremendously. I'm just telling you that it's my recommendation that you utilize the distilled water, but it's not just the distilled water. There's one more step, and I'm going to put a card in uh, up here for you guys to go check out my solar energy video, okay, where I talk about how you solar energize or, or create sun water. That's going to be very important to re-energize the water. So... The reason why I chose distilled water over the alkaline water is because distilled water just means there's nothing in it. Now there's a lot of misinformation about distilled water on the internet and it's been put out there purposefully because they don't want you guys using it because it actually heals you, it helps you a lot. The water itself is the most powerful solvent in the world and with the spring waters, the alkaline waters, the tap waters or any other type of bulk water that water is already full of minerals, chemicals, toxins, etc. So when you drink it, not only does it have the ability to leave trace amounts of those chemicals in your body, but it also doesn't have the cleansing effect that it's supposed to have because the water is already full of garbage. When you're drinking distilled water, it's empty. There's nothing in it. It's just H2O. So it has that cleansing effect. It breaks down all of this stuff and it flushes it out your system. Now that's just the power of pure distilled water, whether you energize it or not. When you take it a step further and you solar energize the water, now you're, you're breathing life back into your water. Because one of the things people say is that distilled water is dead. And essentially they're right. But guess what? Your alkaline water is dead. The stuff you're getting out of the bottle, the uh, spring water is dead. The stuff you're getting out of the bottle, the tap water is dead. So when you say, oh, distilled water is dead, yeah, it's dead. But so are all the other waters that you guys are promoting to be drinking. We got to actually actively energize the water because like I said before, it's that motion, a squiggly motion that energizes the water along with the sun. Okay. And so when you're, when you're bottling the water, it's hitting right angles and it's being uh, de-energized. So it doesn't matter what type of bottled water we're talking about. By the time it reaches you, it's going to be de-energized. And of course, it's going to have the, the plastic chemicals from the plastic leaching into it. So you get your distilled water from the store or you get yourself a distiller. Um, I'll leave a link in this video for the distiller that I use. Also, I'll leave a link for the glass jars that I use. Uh, I use a three gallon glass jar, a two gallon glass jar, and a one gallon glass jar. And then in addition to that, I have three other glass jars I got from like an app, some apple juice I had bought that I use to actually sit my water out in the sun and energize it. And I encourage you guys to do the same because, uh, you know, the distilled water does have like that plastic chemically chemical taste. A lot of people don't like it. Uh, also, the... It's just, it, it's better to, because you can get nutrients, like if you're lacking in nutrients, if you're deficient, all right, you can get that, that uh, energy from the sun and your body will utilize it to manufacture the nutrition you need to help with the deficiencies you guys have, right? So uh, distilled water is better than, it's a better option, it's a healthy alternative uh, to your spring waters and your bottled alkaline waters, definitely a healthy alternative to your tap water. Uh, it's not to say, once again, that's not to say that the spring waters are necessarily bad for you. You're just getting extra stuff in the water that you just don't need. All right. Uh, we've got to we've got to break this idea that we need electrolytes, which are our minerals. And even with like the smart water and stuff like that, you'll see that they say we've added electrolytes for taste. They don't even tell you they're adding it for a nutritional reason. They say they're adding it for taste. Because if they don't have those minerals in there to change the flavor of it, you're not going to like the flavor of the water. You're not going to like the way it tastes. One thing that I noticed when I distill my water, it has a weird taste to it. And the reason why is because all the additives that were put in the water to change the, water, the flavor of the water are now out of it. But see, the distiller doesn't distill it 100%. It's not 100% perfect. Mine's, uh, I think I spent like $200 on mine. The distillers go up to like $1,500. I mean, you can spend a lot of money on a nice distiller and it will distill it 
more close to a, a, a 7 pH or a neutral state, but mine doesn't really do that good of a job, so I can still taste some of the chemicals and some of the stuff that's in the water even after I distill it, and that's why I make sure to sun energize my water, because after being outside for a day or two, that taste goes away and the water, just it tastes amazing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off, guys. Please feel free to ask more questions. I have a feeling that you know some of you guys are gonna be like, nah, like you're supposed to drink mineral water and whatever. I mean, it's it's all good. Uh, you know, I've been going through that for the past year or two, so I'm used to it. Uh, just do your own research. I've been I've been drinking distilled water for over two years. So has my brothers, and so. Uh, I feel like if what they were saying about distilled water was true to an extent where it could harm us, we'd know by now, right? One of the things I tell you guys all the time is I'm always looking to figure this stuff out for myself and uh, experiment, and that's what I'm doing. And I'm I'm more healthy now than I've ever been, and my skin looks great. And you know, it, the same thing goes for my brothers and all my other friends who are are following the same path. So. You know, maybe it's time to just start looking at things um, on an individual basis. Do your own research, do your own experiments, and see what, what differences you find. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Also, one of the things I noticed, because when I was doing this, I was tasting other waters, volcanic waters, spring waters, alkaline waters, and I noticed that after I got used to drinking the distilled water, I could taste the salt and the rocks. I could taste it in the water, you know? And even my sister-in-law, you know, she was like, Chris, I can't drink any other kind of water now because distilled water is so pure, there's nothing in it. And then when you go back to drinking some of the other waters, you could like taste it. The water tastes sweaty to me. And I knew, I knew as soon as I could taste that sweaty water, I knew something was wrong. Water's not supposed to taste like that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, the application of knowledge is power. And I will see you guys next time.